Thank God for this blessed time to watch the revival truth and to magnify the name of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, oh, my heart is longing to see the revival globally. Uh, so we are searching through the scriptures to get the truth to experience a real revival. Now, I would like to say today there's a revival through praise. I would like to read a word from the scripture in Psalm 34 verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I used to wonder, can we praise the Lord all the time? The psalmist David says, I will praise the Lord all the time. Now many of us, even Christians, are preachers. Sometimes we don't feel like praising God because such is the problem sometimes we face. But sometimes we don't get the right answer. Sometimes the demon resistance used to be beyond our strength. During the time, we become so almost idle. But David says, I will praise the Lord all the time. When you praise the Lord, hallelujah, there comes the power of God to revive you. See, there is a great power in praise. But if you praise properly, out of my Christian life, I would like to say this. Once, you know, I was standing in the presence of God to preach, but I didn't know what to preach. I was t I taken this word, Lord, can I praise you all the time? Then the Spirit of God spoke to me, my son, if you don't know how to praise me, remember all the victories that you have tasted in your life. And remember and give me thanks. So I remember in my past life, what are the great things God has done to me? So constantly I remember, Lord, thank you. I praise the Lord. For delivering me from the dead. From the demonic deception. When I was in sickness. Thank you for your deliverance. That healed my sickness. And made me strong enough to stand for your glory. Suddenly what happened. A praise arose in my heart and my spirit. And I was totally revived. Dear brothers and sisters. Now it's a time to praise the Lord. Remember his goodness and your mercies in your entire life. You may walk in the valley of tears today. But in bygone years, God has done great things for you. But you have forgotten to give thanks to God. The Bible says, Thanks be to God who gives us victory. Ah, sometimes you may be facing some failures. But God will turn failure into victory. We will praise the Lord. So through praises. Even kings. They saw the tremendous victories. And they defeated their enemies. Even today. We need to praise the Lord. All the time. In the time of sorrow. Thanks God. Thanks be to God. Who gives us the victory. You will turn your sorrow into joy. So praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord all the time. See when we see a Christian. With a shabby face and dull heart. We can sense that the demon is playing a game over the lives. When we pray and praise the Lord. There comes a reviving power. One day. Uh, Martin Luther was so sad and unhappy, sitting with great worry. And wife came with a black dress. And uh, he asked her husband, Martin Luther, husband, you know, you, do you know one thing? What, who has died you have come with black dress? You don't know? She asked. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Our Jesus Christ has died. Suddenly, Martin Luther was revived in his spirit. Yeah, he is not died. He is rose again. Why should I be worrying and sitting? And he started to praise the Lord. And he is the one who wrote this song. Oh God, how help 
in the ages past yes he praised god suddenly he got the power and strength such anointing may come upon you through praise father we thank you for this time of prayer oh lord we remember every of your goodness in our lives what you have done so far thousands and thousands of times you delivered us lord you bless us lord you fill our hearts and minds with happiness and gladness we thank you we praise you lord for all your tremendous things that you have done in our lives thank you lord for hearing our prayers let the praise may rest upon your children to praise the lord all the time glory to the blessed name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen